a News 5 investigation into Jackson Hewitt, the second largest tax preparation service in the U.S. Yeah, a Colorado Springs woman says the company made an error on her taxes, then refused to honor their warranty, promising its customers a maximum refund. Chief investigative reporter Eric Ross live at the Jackson Hewitt location on North Circle in the Springs this afternoon with a story you'll only see on News 5. Eric, what'd you find out? Robin Allison, good afternoon. The customer you're about to hear from had to pay to have her taxes amended following an error that was made at this tax preparation office behind me. That customer also purchased a maximum refund guarantee, which is kind of like a warranty that promises to reimburse customers if their taxes are not prepared accordingly. Well, after the company gave that customer the runaround for several months, she contacted News 5 Investigates for help, and this afternoon, we're getting results. Every year I've purchased the worry-free guarantee, which states uh, that Jackson Hewitt will give their customer a 100% refund if they do not get the customer a maximum federal return. Connie Smith says she's filed her taxes every year for the last five years with Jackson Hewitt. But last year's tax filing left a sour taste in her mouth. She spent $430 to file her taxes at this Jackson Hewitt location. And that price included a warranty that offers customers a full refund plus $100 if the company fails to get the customer the maximum refund they're entitled to. After Connie's taxes were prepared, she noticed her refund amount was about $4,000 less than previous years, despite her income remaining the same. I then emailed Jackson Hewitt that same night, the day that they did the taxes, and said, I believe there may be an error. Um, at that time, the gentleman emailed me back telling me that I was looking too closely at the taxes. She then called the corporate office to voice her concerns. The district office called me and said, there was nothing wrong with my taxes. I said, okay, then I'm gonna take them to a third party tax preparer. And that's exactly what she did, having your tax lady review her 2019 returns. Sure enough, an error was discovered, and Connie had to pay more money to have it amended. The IRS accepted that amended return, and Connie requested her money back from Jackson Hewitt, as promised under its warranty. I met all the criteria for the warranty, yet Jackson Hewitt refuses to honor it. I've made several phone calls. I filed a Better Business Bureau complaint, which they have ignored. She even had an attorney send a demand notice to Jackson Hewitt with no success. So I uh, specifically told Jackson Hewitt that I was going to call the media. I reached out to Jackson Hewitt via email and the company responded almost immediately, promising to give Connie her money back. And while grateful for the resolution, she's disappointed it took a news media inquiry to make it happen. They would not take responsibility and just say, you know what, we made a mistake, we'll honor our warranty, and then we're done. And a spokesperson for Jackson Hewitt told me in a statement via email that customer service is their top priority and that the company stands behind its 100% accuracy guarantees it offers its customers. Rob? Yeah, Eric, uh, sadly, another case that you've looked into where folks get nothing done, you have to take action, and then immediately it gets fixed. That's another situation. But right now, I'm sure people are wondering if it's worth buying that extended warranty in the long run is it going to pay off what would your suggestion be to these folks you know that's a great question rob ultimately it comes down to personal choice here's some things to consider if you don't make a lot of money and you're not expecting a lot of money back on your tax return you may want to hold off on purchasing any type of extended warranty or warranty protection plan on the other hand if you're in a higher tax income bracket or you're at risk of potentially being audited by the irs then a warranty may provide peace of mind for those folks one other thing to consider regardless of if you're in a high tax bracket or low tax bracket is that if you plan on taking your tax returns to any tax preparation service, always get two separate quotes. By taking that one step, you can save a lot of money from the very beginning. Back to you.